So I'm going to show you how you can make your very own super adorable area animals. And this is gonna use the skills that you've learned about finding the area of squares and rectangles and other shapes. And you're also gonna to get to make these super cute animals or pretend animals. So I've got my tiger and my unicorn, and I'm gonna show you how I made my leopard and here's a bunny. And you get to make any animal you like. What's your favorite animal? You get to make it. All right, let's get started. In your camp groups, you learned all about area. And now we're going to get to use area to make your own area animals. And you'll start with this grid paper because now we know that the area is the number of squares inside of a shape. And you'll see that on your paper, you have a square. This is going to be your animal's head. And from my square, I'm gonna do some little ears and I'm gonna make more squares because all of our shapes for this area animal are going to be square shaped. So I'm making his ears, and you'll have to guess what kind of animal I'm going to make. And then I'm gonna make these lines going out. Can you guess what these shapes could be? What could these shapes be? I'm gonna go down, and if you guess those are like arms, that's true, they're his front paws. And then I'm gonna draw his back paws. And you might wonder why my animal looks like he's laying down, ready to give someone a bear hug. That's because in order to make him stand up, we need to give him a body that can fold. And so the way that I've done this is I made his arms come out from his body that they have to be the same size. Each front paw and each back paw are two squares on both sides. So when you draw yours, you wanna make it the same on both sides, and then this is his tail. So now to figure out my area, all I have to do is count how many squares are on the inside of my animal. And I'll let you do that while I'm doing mine. So I've counted my area, and A stands for area, and my area is 35. And you'll count yours as well. Now how do I turn this into a leopard? That is the fun part. That's where you get to color it in. I'm gonna start first with making my leopard's face, and then I'm gonna give my leopard really big eyes. And now I'm going to color it in. And my leopard is yellow. So I'm going to use my crayon to color it yellow. You're going to want to use a crayon because if you use a marker, it will make the paper too wet to fold and your animal won't stand up as well. You might think about what my leopard is missing. I bet you already know. My leopard is missing its spots. Before you cut it out, you're gonna turn your area animal over and guessing, this is the funny part, just guessing where your animal is, which I know that the head is in the middle. I want you to kind of do a big coloring job all over the back. So now it's time for me to cut out my leopard and I'm going to cut very carefully along all of the lines. And then now I've got my leopard cut out. On the back, I think I'll just add some more spots. And now I'll show you how to fold your animal to make it stand up. I'm gonna fold the arms, well, the paws in like that. Fold all four in so that they stick straight up. And then you're going to fold the head back so it stays straight up this way. And then you can fold your tail. And then here we go, there's my little leopard. 
So I've made a few more so that you can see some other examples. And I wanted to show you some of the different things that you can do. So I can't wait to see what kind of designs you make.